Welcome to K2N Academy. In this video, our cloud expert will guide you through the setup and configuration of Oracle Integration Connectivity Agent. You will learn the complete installation process, detailed configuration steps and various use cases for adapters like file SQL servers. We will cover all prerequisites of a practical demonstration of agent group and file connections and provide insight to bridge your on-premises system suitable for all skill level. This tutorial is designed to enhance your cloud integration expertise. Stay till the end for a special free class offer. Let's get started. Okay, so connectivity agent is the agent that will help you to connect to the on-prem and the OIC. The connection between the on-prem system and OIC. Because in on-prem we know these are behind the firewalls. And that reason if you want to connect to the on-prem systems. So you need to first install the connectivity agent on that on-prem. So that the connection will be established between OIC and that particular server. Okay. So for, for, for building the connectivity first you need to install the connectivity agent and which is a very lightweight agent which is of a, approximately 152 MB so you will download the connectivity agent it will be downloaded and then you have to install it okay so once you install it, it you need to start it so it will start and it will connect to your OIC instant and after that you can start exchanging the messages Okay, so these are the uh, various uh, adapters in which a uh, connectivity agent can be used. Like if you are using a file adapter, so you can use the connectivity agent. If you are using SQL Server, you are using GMS, you are using EBS, Siebel, SAP, Oracle database. So for these connection, you can use the connectivity agent. Okay, what are the prerequisites for connectivity agent? That uh, this, these you should be on JDK version number 17 so that must be installed on your system and these are the list of operating system which are supported okay so what are the important files so once you download the connectivity agent from OIC so these are the list of files that you get you get the connectivity agent dot jar file so this is the actual connectivity agent that will be executed and this is the upgrade utility cpi underscore upgrade utility that's upgrade so in case if you want to check if there is any new upgrade for that connectivity agent so you need to run that file installer profile dot cf cfg that's the configuration file which will have the connection properties to your oic okay so you need to define you need to configure this file so that it will connect to your OIC environment so we need to give all the URLs in that okay and these are the other uh, directories agent home is there so CPI agent so most uh, commonly is uh, you first need to configure this installer profile dot cfg file Okay, and these are the few logs that will be generated and which will be available in this agent slash uh, agent home slash log directory. And this is the directory for logging dot properties. Okay, so for defining the agent for using the agent in OIC, what you need to do, you need to define the agent group. So you will go to OIC and then in that you will go to connectivity agent and then you will define a new agent group so that's a unique identifier which will represent the agents and for for a rectal integration so you can have multiple agents assigned to that and for each instance so you can have up to five agent groups you can define five agent groups in OIC so for for using this connectivity agent first you need to define the group so you need to give the name, identifier and description. Okay, and here you can see that we had defined the agent group, K21 agent. And currently there is no agent assigned to this one. And here you see the download option. So once you click on this, it will download the connectivity agent files. 
okay and installing the connectivity agent so first you download it so it will download as a zip file you see like this okay after extracting the zip you need to change the uh that ex uh, the pro property file the cfg file configuration file you need to configure that file okay and these are the things uh, through which you can install the certificate if is any certificate is required so you can do move via this command here we have defined the agent group so after that what we can do we will download the config file we will click on this download config file so it will be downloaded on our machine and we need to make sure that we are on uh, latest uh, JDK so after downloading the connectivity.zip file we will extract it unzip it and we will replace the installer profile.cfg file with with the one we have downloaded okay and after that we will run this command java space minus jar space connectivity connectivity agent dot jar so it will be starting the connectivity agent and if you are using a uh, Windows machine you you should not close that command prompt but if you are using like Linux and uh, you you can use this no hub command to run the process in the background okay so once uh, you have done you have installed the connectivity agent you started the connectivity agent dot jar so now here you can see it has been changed to one saying that that connectivity agent is now configured Okay, so now let's try to see if we can configure the connectivity agent in our OIC. So we go to agents. Okay. <clears throat> so here we can see that uh, currently you have no agents. So I will first click on this download and then click on connectivity agent. Let's say it's a to one agent. So oh, I think I clicked on this key. One minute, guys. But let me just. it's downloading so now what i will do i will just simply move it to All right, so this is downloaded. So now what I can do? I can unzip it. So here you can see that it's 
having the CP upgrade connectivity agent and this is the installer profile.cfg and if I edit this one so it's blank okay so it's having the field as OIC URL agent group identifier and all these values so what we need to do we need to download the configuration from our OIC so we will click here and then download config okay I will save it in this one only save it do you want to replace yes So now you see this has been replaced. This is OIC underscore URL. Okay, so now next step is to run our connectivity agent.jar file, which is this file. We need to run this file using command prompt. So I will run the command prompt as an administrator mode so this is how I check the Java version so I say Java and then hyphen version okay so it gives me the version of Java and yes it's on 17 Java 17 so now I can run this connectivity agent so let me just copy this one and move to this directory And here we can list down these are the files. So to run this connectivity agent, we write Java minus jar and then connectivity agent dot jar. So here we can see that uh, the agent count is zero because uh, there is no agent we have defined till now. So now I will run this connectivity agent.jar. Alright, so now we can see that the agent started successfully and now available for new messages. Correct. So now let's refresh this one and you can see the agent is now configured. So now what we will do, we will use this uh, connectivity agent to read one file from my system. Okay, for that first we need to define one connection. We'll do two connections. Okay, click on create. Here I will use the file adapter. So I will give it a name like file cons with agent. Or I will simply give file con. Test file con. Okay. So files connection with kitchen. Okay, click on create. So here you can see the access type is connectivity agent. And then we will associate the agent group with this one. And this is our agent group. 
K21 agent group we will click on use we will click on test so now it's 100% click on save thank you so much for staying with us till the end of the video now all you have to do is just click the link in the description below or if you are just starting out just type k21academy.com slash oic02 and you will be redirected to this page now enter your name enter your email id enter phone number and click on register now and you will be redirected to this page also you can add the session to your google calendar or apple calendar and i promise this is something that you don't want to miss so go ahead click on the link and step into the world where learning knows no boundaries till then keep enjoying i'll see you in the next video